welcome to l d Design. I am Lene, the one half of l d Design. My husband David is the other half. I just wanted to do a quick Goodwill haul. I've been feeling really crafty lately, which is something that we're going to be doing on this channel. Crafts, repurposing things, redoing furniture, and kind of showing you some things that we're redoing and working on in our house. So I hope you will stay tuned for future videos. I will also link a few of the videos we already have down below in the description box if you wanna go check those out. So I ran to Goodwill because I had something in mind that I wanted to look for. I did not find that something, but I did find some other good things. I just have a few things, so I'm just going to share them with you and then kind of tell you what I think I'm going to be doing with those items. So we're gonna ignore the clothing items that I have because I did find two really cute clothing pieces. But the first thing that I found was this wreath. This was $1. They had another one that was thicker. I look silly. <laughs> they had another one that was thicker, but it looked like it was falling apart a little bit more than this one. Now granted, this one's not in the best shape, it is kind of falling apart. But I thought this would be really nice for a wreath on our front door. I do already have a fall wreath that I made, um, I think after we moved into this house um, two years ago. And I just don't love it anymore. Plus it's really thick. And we have a very small space between where our screen door is and where we have room to actually close the actual front door. Like our Christmas wreath, you really have to shove the front door and hope the ornaments don't break. So I thought I would get the thinner one just because I think it will give me some more space to add some florals and things and hopefully our front door will close normally. So stay tuned for um, a DIY with this for a floral wreath. I also picked up, I only have two more things. So I also picked up this frame. This was $2 and granted, I don't like anything about this frame, except for the fact that it's kind of like a shadow box. So I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it's very thick inside. So I'm thinking that if I can take these other items out, that I could put something really cool in this shadow box. I'm not sure exactly what. I did think maybe something from our wedding. We got married in October 2019, so we're coming up on a year here in a few months. Very exciting. And I thought maybe we could take some of the items um, from our wedding and pop them in there and maybe hang it up, but I'm not sure. So I don't know if I'm gonna do that or if I'm gonna make it fall or Christmas or if I'm just gonna make it part of our regular decor, but I just thought for $2 painted and DIY, this could be really cool. The last thing I picked up, this is gonna be a very short video. <laughs> so stay tuned for the projects. This one I don't think is going to be a project, but I got this giant basket. I have no idea, hi, if you can even see the full basket. But this was originally um, Natural Storage Solutions. It was originally $39.99 from Michaels and I got it for $6. We have an area in our living room where I just have like a Dollar General basket. It says like love really big on one side. I'm really not a fan of it, but that's where we kind of chuck our pillows when we're not using them, when we're sitting on the couch and lounging around and we don't want all of the pillows in our way. So I thought this could be really nice and I do actually like the wood on it. We don't have a lot of wood tones in the house. We have a lot of grays, a lot of whites, um, but we have started incorporating some more of those natural wood tones because we're kind of going for a little bit of a farmhouse look in our home. So I thought this is probably gonna be really simple, but I'm just gonna take this piece out. I'm just gonna throw it in the washer. And yes, I say wash with an R. I'm from Missouri. It's just what I do. But I'm gonna wash this <laughs> um, and then kind of see how it looks in my space. So maybe I'll show um, a little clip of how it may look in my space before I go ahead and throw this in the washer. And then I'll put that in this video as well. I may decide to paint it. If I do, honestly, I'll probably go with something really boring like white, um, just so it kind of blends in nicely with our decor. But I thought, I mean, it's huge. I thought for $6, this was a great deal. 
So I have two different options for spaces to put this basket. Please ignore the air fryer and the Instapot. We are working on our kitchen and I haven't been able to put those things back yet, so they're living in our living room for right now. This is the basket that I have right here. On the front side is plain, but on the back side, it actually says love on it. And I got this from Dollar Tree like a long, not Dollar Tree, excuse me, Dollar General, like a long time ago. Um, and it's just really broken down. It's that cardboard inside of here. So going through different rooms and storing different things, it's just really kind of broken down a lot. So I kind of want to replace that basket for our pillows with another one. So my thought is, as I knock everything over, <laughs> Oopsie, we'll just throw that back up there. My thought is to put it there. But if we're being honest, I've never really loved this black basket there just because it's a lot in one space. This is where like my daughter's books go, um, like her summer books that she's been reading and then a few of my books as well. Um, we have this crate at our wedding, so I just kind of wanted to use it as kind of like a little small table over here in this nook. So I could put it here, or there is another place. The other place I was thinking about is kind of by our front door, um, close to this kind of random chair that we have right here, um, where this little thing is. So that's just my daughter's tablet charging, so she can use it for her hour tomorrow. But I'm thinking maybe I'll try to put it there. Um, there's not really a place that's super close to the couch. Our couch is actually over here. Say hi, Bella. Our couch is actually over here, and then we have this very awkwardly placed fireplace, um, which I love the fireplace, but it kind of limits us to where we can place our furniture. <laughs> she's smelling the basket, and she's like, what did you bring into this house? My goodness. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wash it. It's okay. So there's not really a place to put the basket over here, which would make more sense to have it close to the couch. But I'm thinking maybe if we pop it in this corner... Let me see if I can move these items without dropping you guys. And apparently, I'm going to put my finger all in the way. This just has some random stuff. My mom got this at Dollar General, and I really love that. So I was kind of thinking about maybe placing it kind of catty corner there. There is a vent back there, but the basket will barely cover it um, if I kind of put it catty corner that way. Um, the kids can just kind of say, okay, well, I don't want, you know, this pillow and just kind of, you know, chuck it in there. Really, those are the only two spots that really make sense. So I think I kind of like it better here. My problem now <laughs> is that it's clashing with that basket down there. And that basket's just a really old basket. It's not super important. I can honestly probably paint that. And I might paint that small one um, down here that's just kind of housing some chest things and some pictures um, I might paint that and leave this because I kind of like this natural um, color over here because we do have a lot of the grays and stuff already going on. So I think that's where I'm going to put it. So I will insert um, a little video after I have everything kind of cleaned up and wiped down and after this comes out of the washer and the dryer and show you how it looks in this little corner. 